This title is it's from the book of Revelations because I, I have to tell you this, and, and you may think I'm nuts if you want to, uh, but this is the truth. Either these men are following the book of Revelation, as it is in the, in the Bible, or there really is a God. And what he said was going to come to pass is coming to pass. Oh yes, many, many people will love the New World Order and the New World Religion and the new world of entertainment that will be erected in place of the old Roman circus in order to keep the populace entertained and diverted. Mindless libraries will be filled with the new history books and the new politically correct dogma of the new politically correct world and the new politically correct religion. And everywhere you look, you will see the symbols of the generative force, the phallus of Osiris, the representation of the old god of Babylon, Baal, Nimrod, Isis, will be everywhere. You see, for Osiris is the doctrine. Isis is the church. Horus is the great body of initiates that will rule you. They call themselves wolves. And of course, of course, dear listeners, you are the sheep. The legal and lawful prey of the wolves. A nation or world of people who will not use their intelligence are no better than animals who do not have intelligence. Such people are beasts of burden, and yes, stakes on the table, by choice and consent. If we didn't love you here, we would not say these things to you. Please wake up, good night, and God bless you all. Hitler could not have ever come to power, absolute power in Germany, without the Reichstag fire. Hitler was a socialist. He understood social illusion. He understood social engineering. He knew how to get the support of the German people, and he did it by burning down the Reichstag. The Reichstag was, well, in our country, it would be the Capitol building that contains the Senate and the House of Representatives. So if somebody were to go and burn down the Capitol building today, they would use that as an excuse, as Hitler did, to round up all of the enemies of the New World Order, which would be me and most of you listening, and throw us into prison or execute us, declare martial law, and come to absolute and total power in this country. And I'm telling you, one of the things that will give us the moral high ground and, uh, and will begin civil war is the day that they begin declaring martial law across this country taking guns out of the hands of the American people and rounding up American patriots. The war will start on that day. On that day. And there will be a war in this country, a civil war, to restore, not a revolution, 
but a civil war to restore constitutional Republican government. Now at the same time that that's going on, communists and Marxist underground forces will begin, or try to begin, a revolution in order to institute a Marxist, socialist, or communist government as a result of the Civil War. So we, patriots, will be fighting on two fronts. On two fronts. And you better understand which side you're going to be on. Restoration, revolution, our tyranny. an American patriot. I have served my country for most of my life. I served honorably in the United States Air Force and the United States Navy. I was a patrol boat captain in the harbor of Da Nang and on the Quaviet River attached to the Office of Naval Security and Intelligence headquartered at Camp Carter in the Vietnam War. I was presented the Navy Achievement Medal with a V for Valor and the Navy Commendation Medal with a V for Valor for service in the war. Not one man under my command was ever wounded or killed while he remained under my command and I engaged the enemy more than any other boat on the river or in the harbor. I had plans to make the military my career. Needless to say, I could no longer pursue that course. What I thought I had been serving was not at all what I was really serving. I left the Navy with an honorable discharge on December the 11th, 1975. I had spent the last 24 years of my life researching and exposing the treason within our government. And make no mistake about it, ladies and gentlemen, it is treason. I wrote a book entitled Behold a Pale Horse published an exposure of the Oklahoma City bombing entitled Oklahoma City Day One by Michelle Marie Moore. I publish a national newspaper entitled Veritas and I host a worldwide broadcast which began on May 4th, 1992 entitled The Hour of the Time. I reminded the American people who had forgotten what all of these things were. I told them the truth about the philosophies of the New World Order. I exposed them. I drug out the secrets from the dark corners and under the rocks and out of the stinking putrid holes. And I exposed them to the light of the day. We are not the only people who have been targeted for destruction by President Clinton and his administration. What Clinton has done to us is clearly without any doubt whatsoever, abuse of the powers of the president. Me, my wife, and our children live from day to day, terrorized, 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 constantly under the threat of murder or imprisonment, which we know will result in murder, by the treasonous powers that have infiltrated our government to destroy it from within. I am absolutely 100% completely loyal to the Constitutional Republic that was established by the Founders under the rule of law. The Constitution for the United States of America is still my supreme law of the land. To the rest of the nation it has been subverted. It still rules on this mountaintop in the Round Valley 
of Arizona. Indeed, I have devoted my entire life to the restoration of constitutional Republican government, to the liberty and freedom of all people, of all races, of all religions, of all places of ancestral origin. And I am ready and willing to die in defense of that cause at any time that God deems it necessary for me to do so.